Hello, good morning, and welcome back to another edition of The Good, The Bad, The Ugly, The Juicy Future, brought to you by the Department in Hard Vapors. Now, the one I want to show you today is from Bake and Vape Salts, and that is the Million Shortcake. I've got to say for the record, any views or opinions with a journal's review are mine and mine alone. I did not pay for the product. I've not been paid to do this review. This product was very kindly sent to me by Vapor Round in their bi-monthly box. My weapon of choice today will be the Aspire Sprite. Let's crack on. Right, um... Labels, labels, labels. I've, I've got no problem with the label, to be honest. Um, we've got the nicotine is an addictive substance. It's a highly addictive substance. And uh, we all know that bollocks. And um, hopefully, in the near future, that can be changed to something that's more in honest. Uh, right, this is a 20 milligram Nix. Well, I'm assuming this is a 20 milligram Nixel. <laughs> There's been some confusion with this now, because uh, there's been a lot of either wrongly labelling of the bottles, or confusion, because people think they, they're getting a... People think that they see, like, Nixol, 20 milligram, and they think, of, oh, Nick strength, 20 milligram, where it's not because the whole molecular structure of a Nixol weighs heavier than a nicotine one, than just a plain nicotine one. So that's where you'll see some places go, this is a 36 milligram Nick Salt. And then underneath they go, nicotine strength 20, which is the legal limit. And so I'm not sure whether this is a 20 milligram Nick strength or a 20 milligram Nick Salt strength. Because if it's a 20 milligram Nick Salt strength, this potentially could be about, a, about 10 or an 11, depending on which of the two main acid groups they've used, they're bonded and bonded with the nicotine. So, yeah, this is either a 20 milligram Nick Salt, which is an 11, around about an 11 milligram nicotine level, but obviously it will feel a little bit stronger than that because the Nick Salt's the absorption rate is quicker, so you get a quicker hit, and it makes you feel like you've actually got more. It's, yeah, you, you yes, it's still a minefield out there. Yes, labels need to be changed on these companies. I want to see dual labels on this. I want someone to say, this is a 20 milligram Nick Salt underneath nicotine strength. 1.11. Uh, I, I just put the dual ones on there so people know what they're buying. It's the problem with the states. I mean, a lot of in the states they're going oh, 50 milligram nick salts. That's 50 milligram nicotine strength. Well, no, it's not. It, it's probably between about 25 to 27 and a half milligrams nick strength because it's a 50 milligram nick salt. The confusion's out there. People need to be a little bit more clear on the labels. That's all I'm saying on there because. Um, the only complaint I've got on here is the writing on there. I mean, all right, I'll wear glasses, but I'm not being funny. That is the hardest writing in the world because it blends in with the shiny background. It looks more like trying to look at a magic eye picture. So, yeah. Um, these do not need to come in the box because they don't need to include the label. These are TPT compliant ones. They have the wraparound labels, which will give you a little bit of background on potential side effects and also on the on the bowl how to fill i like how it says remember to put the top on afterwards we've all done it but anyway um i've already got this loaded in here now i say this bar this has got the 1.2 nick salt coil in it which to be fair is a coil <laughs> no special coils just to do nick salts it's a and coil, okay? You don't have to separate it out there. It's a coil. And this fires at about 12 watts. So here we go. Let's give it a go. No throat hit, which is good. Considering, I mean, I normally, on, on like, on just nicotine, vapor power three, maybe a six. But then I'd be taking a lot more volume in. So obviously, <laughs> if I did that, if I did this on a drip, I'd take my bloody head off. But it's a very smooth inhale. You do get a slight. You can feel a bit on the back of the throat, but obviously that's because there's more nicotine going in, and it's also going in quicker. Flavour-wise, is really good. Um, Straight off the bat, you get the shortcake. You get the shortbread feeling. I did say shortcake. Yeah, shortcake. And then just at the end of that inhale, you start to get a, a very Moorish salted caramel with just a little fleck of chocolate in it.
Obviously, we won't be taking too many hits on this, otherwise I'll be off my tits. But um, can't fault the flavour at all. The the actual that salted caramel with just that little little splot of chocolate in it as well goes so well with the inhale, which is the shortcake. Actually, I'll be fair. The, the salted caramel element of it does come in just at the end of the inhale and at the start of the exhale. So during that exhale, that chocolate drops in as well. But I can't fault that at all. And as I say, that bowl so far, I mean, since opening has lasted me a week. Well, no, it's lasted me, it's lasted me five days and I've got, I've still, I've still got that much left. I've, pro I've, got, I've got another go in there left. So I'm filling up the tank and I'll prob uh, pro uh, it's taken me a day and a bit to actually finish a tank if I'm just purely on that for the day because obviously I'm taking more in, I don't need to hit it so often. But, I mean, as devices go, there seems to be such an arraignment of qualities of stuff going. Like, um, I mean, this. Th there's faults with this. The one, i will just put it on here, is that's how it stands. It stands on the piss. So, your actual centre of gravity is all over the show with that one, and it doesn't it doesn't take a lot for that to go over. I mean, it's, you can't put it down on a carpet because it instantly falls over. Um, you have to put it down completely on a flat surface, and then kind of make sure there's nowhere that you're actually going to hit, because then it's going to knock over again. Um, other problem I've got with this is these. Um, now, these are the air flow vent. Now you look at that and you think you've got three on each side. You haven't. You've got one on each side. That top one is the only one that's provided airflow to your tank, to your pod system. The other two are covered. They're completely sealed over. Which raises a problem with me because then I look round here and I'm going, well, you've got no vent system here. If your battery decided to have a bit of a <clears throat> and go for it, there's nowhere for it to vent out of. And also, if you've got a little bit of juice on your fingers, you can't take the bloody pods out. Yeah, as you can see in there. There's no venting for that battery whatsoever. That's a bit of a up in my opinion. There should have been at least something round about here just to provide a small vent hole. I mean, it's a thousand mile battery in there. It might sound a lot, but you don't want it sizzling in your pocket should there be a problem or something go wrong with the protection system or anything like that. So I've got a problem with that. The other problem I've got with this is the, is the pod system itself. Um, what, uh, what I don't like is this filling mechanism here. Um, it's brilliant. So you, you do that, you've got a wide enough hole there, you can get the bottom in easy. That's fine. The problem I have is if you accidentally pull it out and that other side comes out because it's not attached, it, it's so you can replace it and put a new one in there, that is an absolute asshole to try to get another one in because it's such a soft silicon and a plastic trying to get that in that hole it's basically like trying to thumb in a softy it really is it's like oh it's not that was popped out you know it's not that was squeezed that was done that oh good god my eyesight isn't the greatest and my fingers aren't the greatest anyway even i mean the easier way is you actually have to take your whole coil out to try to put the bung back in it's a pain in the arse. It really is. But credit where credit is due, I haven't had any leaks with this. But even low down, I mean, my air hole on this, because this is where the air hole is, it, I'm practically next to nothing. I'll go down to nothing. It's still quite an airy vape. But you have to have it really down low to get like a proper... Resistance to the draw, and you open it wide open, and it's just, and you think that's twelve volts. <laughs> that's twelve volts. Is it balls? It's twelve watts. I mean, opening it full up. I think, I think this is something I'm going to start looking into. Actually, pod systems and the how efficient they are, because there does seem to be a wide variety of qualities going out there.
I mean, there's that, and I say he's, he's got a few areas where I'm not happy with. And then there's this, which is the Vipe. Now, this is a special edition one. Now, do you know why they call it a special edition one? Because they put a shit sticker on it. But I mean, it's a simple enough system. Five clicks on, little green light comes on. Plug and play for your actual pods. Buy these pods, they're um, closed system, they come sealed like this. Slip in, hear the click, click that five times to the starter, and away you go. But I mean, special edition, I'm not being funny. <laughs> I'm not being funny, you might as well just peel that off. Because <laughs> it kind of makes the mod. Well, I say mod, it makes the system look shit. So you might as well just do that. <laughs> And be left with that, because it looks a damn sight better than that crap sticker. Special edition ones are absolutely pointless. Uh, main problem I find with the Vibe 3 is your pods. Your pods are terrible. Um, they leak like a bastard. I've had... Ugh. Yeah, I say, it, it kind of looks better like that, to be honest. I wouldn't bother with the special edition ones, because they look shit. And the fact they made a big deal that some artists actually created that, and you're going... I look like a knob with this in my hand. But the pods leak. I've had three different pods through in here and each one has leaked. That's leaked. I don't know if you can see on there. You can't see really on there. But all that is moist where it's leaked. It's moist on the connection points. And I don't need, and you see a little bit there, it's moist on the connection points in there as well. The pods leak, and there's been a couple of times where I felt like a girl giving a first blowjob. Basically sucked it, got some juice in my mouth, went... It shouldn't happen, there's no need for it to happen. So the pot, they need to sort their pods out before this actually is any is worth what it does. But it's another system for getting people... There's, there's loads of systems now for getting people off smoking. And depending on what part of the world you're in, uh, will dictate, unfortunately, the availability of these items. I mean, there are countries in the world now that are banned vaping, full stop. You can still smoke, but they're banned vaping. It's just, well, you've got in America, flavour bands, left, right and centre, seem to be popping up because vaping the children. Yet, from the age of 12, you can still buy Nicorette in a fruity flavour. Hypocrisy, anybody? Cigarettes are still freely available wherever you go. Yeah, the world's gone to shit. <laughs> I just got some juice in my mouth. Oh, ah, ah. Mm. Nice, nice. Mm. Mm, 20 milligrams. Mm. Any hit, sorry, absolute tangent there, went completely off one. So, yeah, um, product itself, I like. Labels, information on labels needs to change, it needs to be more clear, you need to tell people exactly what they're getting, and that is my one complaint with this. So, that brings me to the end of another review. If you have enjoyed what you watched today, please remember to like, share, comment, and of course subscribe to the channel. My ugly mug should be appearing around here anytime soon. Give it a slap and give us a sub. So, on behalf of myself, Darren Stone, take care people, and I'll be back soon with some more reviews. See ya!